Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So in today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new Color OS 13. Color OS, most of you probably know by now, is Oppo's Android skin on top of uh, Oppo's smartphone. So Color OS 13 is built on top of Android 13. Now Android 13 is not out yet. Google hasn't even released it for even its own Pixel phones. So the fact that we're getting a beta preview of Color OS 13 and that's going to be rolling out to actual consumers pretty soon, it's a big deal because even two, three years ago, a lot of Android enthusiasts will complain that one of the problems with buying Chinese or Korean Android phones was that you wouldn't get the latest Android update until six months or even a year. Now in the last couple of years, Asian Android brands have been putting more effort into getting out the Android version update in a timely manner, closer to when Google releases it for the Pixel anyway. And now Oppo is leading the charge with one of the first Android 13 versions out there. In fact, back at Google I.O. a few months ago, that was Google's developer conference, they actually name dropped Oppo as a partner to build Android 13 together for Oppo's software, Color OS 13. So I've been using this beta version of Color OS for about five days now, so let's take a look at what's new. So the first thing you're gonna notice with Color OS is this new design language that Oppo is calling aquamorphic. So it's based on elements of water. So meaning everything, it's very smooth and fluid like liquid. And if you notice all the corners of the apps and the notification toggles have been rounded a little bit more and everything is symmetrical. So the important toggles such as Wi-Fi, which is you know a toggle that we use more than any other toggle. So you see that it is now in a wider rectangle but at the same time, the two circles underneath are still symmetrical. If you actually bust out a ruler and build a grid on a display, you will see that all the edges align. Now, perhaps the best way to see the symmetrical nature of this new uh, shortcut toggle screen is to look at Color OS 12. If you look at Color OS 12, look, look at all the circular icons. They're a little bit too spaced out. Whereas on Color OS 13, everything aligns perfectly in a symmetrical grid. Now, another element of the Color OS 13 that takes after the element of water is that it is fluid, meaning is adaptable. So Color OS 13 on Oppo tablets will look a little bit different, obviously, because the wider screen landscape, but the UI elements will look very similar to how it looks on the phone. Now, the home screen elements also as fluid as ever, and you also have this new option to enlarge an app folder. So this is pretty useful if you wanna make one folder more important than the others. Like, let's say that's where all your work apps are at. There's also a new version of this multi-screen collaboration that connects your Oppo phone to any Windows laptop or an Oppo tablet and you can just access your phone directly on a PC. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows machine on me to do this testing right now, but you go from the marketing material that Oppo's provided, it seems to work pretty well. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I've always been a fan of Color OS in the past because I love all the customization options that the phone gives you. More on that later. And also because animations is just absolutely buttery smooth. This was the case with the previous few versions of Color OS already, and I feel like it is even more so this time around. Like, it is just a joy to cycle through the home screen, bring up the app tray, jump into app overview. Everything is just completely fluid. Now for Color OS 13, Oppo is actually claiming they've developed an AI machine learning engine to anticipate and predict your behavior so that the UI will kind of anticipate what you're about to do to give you that animation a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. Now, to be honest, I've always been a little bit skeptical when I hear things like that, because it sounds a little bit futuristic. I have to say the animations here are buttery smooth and noticeably more fluid than say one UI on a Galaxy S22 Ultra. And if you look at Color OS side by side next to something like the UI in the Microsoft Surface Duo, like this is a functional version of Android, but everything just looks a little bit clunky, right? Like anim animations are slow, all the app icons are blocky. It doesn't really work. It doesn't really go with the rounded corners. Like it just doesn't seem like a seamless UI. Whereas now Color OS, everything looks symmetrical. Everything looks seamless. Now, as I already mentioned, Color OS has always been highly customizable. And that's actually been one of the themes that Android has been trying to do. Starting with last year's Android 12 and this year's Android 13, Google has been pushing this like material U concept that allows you to customize the UI of the phone. Like for example, you don't like that the color scheme of your UI is blue, you can change it to green, change it to pink, whatever you like. Now to be honest, this is not new. Oppo and OnePlus phones have been offering you this for years. So in a way, Google's Material U is just playing catch up 
to what Color OS and Oxygen OS has been doing. Now, with that said, OPPO is still taking into account what Google is doing with Material U and implementing that into its own customization engine. You can change the UI colors here on the fly, and you can also change the shade of colors, like a custom shade that you might like. Another update is the always on display. It is highly customizable, of course. You can put everything from customized text or emoji. This is uh, OPPO's version of Apple's Memoji and it actually works okay. I'll show you a little bit more later. But one of my absolute favorite features of this always on display is you can control music playback on the always on display. And it doesn't just work with OPPO's first party music app, but also Spotify. So I have a podcast playing right now. If I double tap on this icon, then it shows up a larger control for Spotify. Here, I can fast forward 15 seconds on the podcast if I want, or I can change to a different playlist. So you can access up to four playlists, and I can favorite the song if I like, save it to my Spotify favorite list. And of course, I also love that Color OS allows you to control music playback without waking up the screen. So if I draw a pause symbol, the music will pause. If I draw the symbol again, the music will play. And I can skip tracks by drawing arrow. Fast forward one track. Fast forward another track. Back to the emoji. Like I said, this is Opal's version of iPhone's Me Emoji. And ColorOS 13 brings new customization options again. You have more hairstyles, skin tone style, eye shapes to choose from. So you have more ways to customize your emoji to look like yourself. Although I couldn't quite do it. Like if you look at my emoji, it doesn't really look like me. But it does pick up my facial movements quite well. Maybe not as well as an iPhone because the iPhone actually has a 3D facial mapping system. And the Oppo Find X5 Pro here is just using a single front facing camera, but it's still doing a relatively good job. And Color OS 13 has worked Omoji into the system. So if you have a contact list, all your friends can use Omojis too. If they happen to all use Oppo phones. Overall, Color OS 13 isn't bringing a completely new software experience because to be fair, Android 13 is also just a small iterative update this year. But what Color OS 13 does is it refines and polishes the software, a software that I already loved a lot and thought it was one of the best Android skins on the market. And I can say confidently, Color OS 13, at least on a flagship 120 hertz display, brings the best looking and most fluid animations of any phone I've seen, and also has the best always on display, bar none. And the best part is Color OS 13 doesn't cost you anything. If you already have a recent OPPO device, you should be getting Color OS 13 in the next couple of months. OPPO is doing rollout in a gradual style. So in this month, August, the OPPO Find X5 Pro series is already gonna get Color OS 13. And then next month, Color OS 13 will reach the OPPO Reno 8, the OPPO Find X3 Pro. So that's about it for this overview preview of Color OS 13 running on top of Android 13. Like I said, it's really good news that we're getting Android 13 on a third party Android device now this early. Probably neck and neck whenever the Google Pixel 7 comes out because that's typically the first phone to run Android 13. This is a big jump from two, three years ago. Two, three years ago, you would have to see the newest version of Android in a Pixel, and then you have to wait half a year for the new version of Android to get to your Samsung or LG or OPPO device. That's not the case anymore. And that's something that OPPO has put effort into doing, and I think they deserve some props for that. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, you might notice this setting is a hotel room. I'm actually in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia right now. I'm on a family holiday with my girlfriend and her family. So this is my last video this week. But stay tuned because I'm coming back strong next week with the Xiaomi Mix 2. I'm going to get that pretty soon. So please stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching.